You don't know what terror is until you're eight hours away from your front porch and there's a sun tup box sitting on it. A double stack box for double the terror. What's the unboxing? What it be? Well, I don't know. Shut up and see. Hi, chums. Welcome back to the channel. We'll make this quick because I know you're itching to get to that Silence of the Lambs Artist Edition. Boy, I know I am. So uh, let's just do the formality. Check in with the Magic Duff Bucket because the Magic Duff Bucket never wants to sit out the Sun Tup unboxings. He insists, so we're gonna we're gonna check in with him and see what he's got for us. What do you have for me today, Magic Duff Bucket? Oh, a Boris the Crusher oatmeal stout. Yeah, I mean, I never know what to think of uh, uh, a beer with a frog on the label, but I know what to drink, and that's a stout. So you have that five-letter word on there. If it's a stout, I'm gonna pour it out. And then I'm going to pour it in. So yeah, Silence of the Lambs, Artist Edition. Uh, I can't tell you how thrilled I was when um, Sun Tup did Red Dragon. Oh, ooh. That, that's like, you know, it goes in your mouth. It goes over your tongue. It goes down your throat. And it goes right into your soul. Uh, and by that I mean it's really yummy. I'm putting it on a coaster. Uh, I was thrilled when Sun Tup did Red Dragon. Red Dragon's an awesome book. And then, and, and when when Sun Tup did Red Dragon, then I started looking for the uh, Subterranean Press edition of Silence of the Lambs, because I'm on that Thomas Harris kick. I I got to get all the limited editions now. And I couldn't find one with a signature, and I like the artwork, but I don't know, I just let it go. And then Paul Suntup announced Silence of the Lambs, and I'm like, my prayers were answered. So I couldn't believe it. And, and now I'm going to have a matching set of Red Dragon, Silence of the Lambs, and I'm hoping for Hannibal. I never read Hannibal. Uh... It would be great if that was the first time I read that book and it was a Sun Tup edition. That would be great. A, a boy can hope. A boy can hope. Um, so we're, we're all looking forward to that, but that's getting ahead of us, us right now. Um, Silence of the Lambs is a stellar book. I mentioned in the unboxing that it's a great read if you could just get Jodie Foster out of your head because it did turn into a great movie. It did. A very well cast movie but Jodie Foster was wrong for it I'm not open to having my mind changed because some sometimes it's just if you hold a truth anything else is a lie Jodie Foster was a bad choice anyway Clarice Starling is an awesome character and uh and it was hard reading the book and just keep, I kept hearing Jodie Foster. But that's, I mean, I'm turning this into a therapy session. You need to see the book. I need to show you the book. Um, it's just, it's just a great start to the week. Get over to the Fans of Sun Tup Facebook page. A new release coming for Sun Tup this week. Ah, I'm going to do some interviews. I'm going to do some countdowns. We're going to argue with each other because that's what people do, apparently. But then we're going to make up. We're going to bring it in and, uh, and and hug it out a little bit. Just a little bit. Just just a tiny, tiny bit. Because introverts, you know, and I'm an introvert. <laughs> Who knew? So check it out. Check out the unboxing. Um, I don't say it later, so I'll say it now. Stay frosty. I don't want to say it in the end screen. I want to say it now. Stay frosty. Watch the video. Have a stout. Enjoy the books. I needn't tell you how thrilled I am right now, need I? Um, fun fact, this edition came with a reversible dust jacket, the same as Rosemary's Baby. So, guess what I got? 
That's right. A double, 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 double stack box. Because I got two. I have two. Look at this. Double the fun. Look at that. Wow. Illustrations by Tom Bagshaw. So cool. Oh, so, suffice it to say, I've seen pictures of this out and about in the wild. I had to bite down on my tears and my pain um, that I couldn't get mine and, and give it a proper reception in my abode. But here I am, fulfilled and complete, almost, doing the precarious chore of taking off the shrink wrap without damaging a damn thing. And, th and that's, no, that's really no easy feat for me. I'm extremely clumsy. This is beautiful. It's a beautiful slipcase. Sun tub quality, you know it. I don't have to really keep going on about it. Look at that. Mm. There it is. You know, I have not seen pictures of the naked book. So, this will be my first look at the naked book. So, let's get on with it. Oh, that's cool. I'm, I'm digging that. Nice. And this this label matches the Red Dragon label. Um, and, of course, the cover on, on Red Dragon had the Mahjong tile figure. And this has the Death's Head Moth. Some black end papers. Elegant. Look at that sound. It's the lambs. Elegant. That's how the man signs the page. That's a pretty cool signature. You know, I usually don't care, because as long as it's authentic signature, I don't care. But that's a cool signature. Very nice. This smells. You smell that? Mmm, smell it. Smell it. It's really nice. Is me whispering in your ear, Freaky? I sure hope so. Um, I'm super jazzed about reading um, reading this again. But I did read Silence of the Lambs right after reading the arc, uh, the Sun Tup arc of Red Dragon. So I read this as a paperback not too long ago. Excellent book. If you could just get Jodie Foster out of your brain, excellent book. And you can you can really enjoy that book. Look at that! Look at that! That is awesome. That's awesome. That, wow. That's really great. I think I... I think I prefer that. But it's a, it's a hard one to pick. It's a hard one to pick. But I think I prefer that. All the symbolism, everything in there. Wow. Wow. Oh, I cannot wait for that numbered edition. Um... This is sold out, you know, but there are tons of other artist editions you can enjoy. Island of Dr. Moreau, The Wolf, and Johnny Got His Gone replay. They're all there. You can order them, and you can have a high-quality book worthy of your shelf. And it's, it's a great experience, and if you don't have an artist edition... Um, there are a growing number of people who are collecting them entirely um, and having complete sets of the artist edition, of the Sun Tup artist editions. And I tell you, it's, it's a great thing to see when people share those shelfies and you see all these artist editions. They're beautiful. They're all gorgeous. And um, if you have a reversible dust jacket, maybe get two if you want to display both of them. <laughs> because some of us are just that luxurious or spoiled i don't know i don't know what the word is that i'm looking for 
Um, happy. <laughs> happy. So obviously what we have here are three skulls representing three different things. One represents like, one subscribe, and one is watch another video. Um, and the hand there, it represents your hand that does one of those three things by pushing, tapping, you know, finagling the phone or whatever you're watching the video on to get to one of those end results that we, we all want for each other.